I'm Josh Kelly, World of Wind, currently 6 0 fighting for the Commonwealth title. Um, follow the sport icons. So, Josh Kelly versus Premslav Pronowski on the Dave Allen and Lucas Brown undercard at the O2 Arena in London. Now, this was for Josh Kelly's WBA International Welterweight title. Of course, he's a Commonwealth champion as well. And this is Josh Kelly's ninth professional fight. Now, in this one, I, I know that Josh Kelly's going to get a lot of criticism. The commentators were giving him a lot of criticism because of the way that he fights, he showboats, he messes about, all that kind of thing. Um, but just because he does that doesn't mean he's not focused. He is focused. He's very, very aware of what his opponent's doing. And trust me, he wouldn't do that if he was in with a higher class opponent. Now, Ronowski, 17-0 going into this fight. Josh Kelly just inflicted his first defeat on him. Okay, so round number two, round number nine, and round number 10 is, is, is only a 10 round fight. So round two, round nine, round 10, Josh Kelly drops him to the canvas. Now, at many times, I think Josh Kelly could have just got him out there, but due to his inactivity for quite some time because of injury, the fact that um, his wife's had a baby, all that kind of thing, he's been pretty inactive. So he was there to get rounds. He was following the orders of Adam Booth. He was doing what Adam Booth was telling him to do. And as he moves up in the gears against stiffer competition, the showboating will dip and his performance will come out. Trust me, I know I'm right on this one. And he will be a world champion one day, and I know there's gonna be a lot of people going, Sport and Icon, what, what on earth are you talking about? He will be, okay? I'm very, very confident in this. So, very, very dominant performance. He won every single round, easily. Um, he did get caught on a couple of occasions, but again, he was pretty much testing out the power of his opponent. That's all he was trying to do. He was literally just messing about. He got a nick on his right cheek. That was from a head clash. Um, but you know what? It is what it is. I mean, for me, I was hoping that that wasn't going to get opened up too much because it could risk him being on the June 1st card at Madison Square Garden, which currently he's penciled in for. What kind of caliber opponent is he going to get? I don't know. But regardless of that one, I want to see Josh Kelly in with a stiffer competition at welterweight. Stiffer competition. For me, based on Keith Thurman's last performance, Josh Kelly destroys him. Big statement. Yeah, I know. But I will say this, though. For me, I do wish that he would calm down the showboating a little bit because I want to see him annihilate opponents. But the thing is, he knows he can do it at any point. He's putting on a show. He's following the instructions of Adam Booth. Okay, so anyway, congratulations to Josh Kelly on a 10-round Unanimous points decision after dropping Ronowski three times in that fight. Round two, round nine, round ten. And winning every other round quite comfortably as well. But listen, his opponent Ronowski, pretty solid. I mean, he's pretty game. He took some pretty good lickings. And Josh Kelly's left uppercut is phenomenal. Bearing in mind, he's an orthodox fighter. Anyway, that's my thoughts. You drop me yours, click thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.